Hello viewers, welcome to this video lecture series on Computer Network Slab using the Cisco Packet Tracer. In this session, I shall give you a demonstration for default routing. In my previous two sessions, I have explained about the static routing and dynamic routing. Here, we shall see the default routing. So, before I start explaining, let me just make the topology ready. I require two networks here. So, I will make the setup. I will just click to one switch, drag and drop. Then, I require two PCs for this network even with one pc i can give the demo but let me take minimum two pcs in each network second switch then one more pc right So, giving configuration for these two networks, you all are quite familiar. You need to select IP addresses for this network and IP addresses for this network. And you need to select two routers and the routers will route the packet from one network to another network. So, let me take the routers also now itself. Then I will show you the connections. Right. So, this kind of setup we have been doing for the previous two sessions also static routing and dynamic routing start connecting let us give the ip addresses here first so my habit is usually first i'll write it in the label 192.168. let me give anything 16.20 and here let me give 192. 168.16.30 So this is a different network or you can tell it as a different sub network. So we will do one thing, we will give a different sub network here 192.168.18.20 right? and we will decide the interface IP address also for this fast Ethernet FA0 slash 0 of router 0 192.168.16.1 and what is the interface FA0 slash 0 then the interface for FA0 slash 0 of router 1, 192.168.18.0, sorry 18.1 will take because 18.0 becomes the network address. Now we will write fast Ethernet port number also, let me write it in the label. Okay. start assigning go to the desktop click ip config then type the address 192.168.16.20 subnet mask will appear default gateway we need to give 192.168.16.1 quickly now we'll do for pc1 192. 168.16.30 then subnet mask will appear default gateway we can give now because we already decided that 192.168.16.1 right so this completes now we'll give the ip address for this interface click to router 0 config fast ethernet 0 slash 0 look here this is the ip address we decided 192.168.16.1 subnet mask make the port status on right now similarly here for network 2 go to desktop ip config so this one now i am doing for pc2 look here pc2 label is here 192. 
168.18.20 subnet mask default gateway we decided here it is this one 192.168.18.1 right this completes for pc2 we'll do it fast now for pc3 ip config ip address 192.168 dot 18 dot 30 then what is the default gateway here it is 192 dot 168 dot 18 dot 1 right so this completes the now we have to give the IP address for this interface click to router 1 go to config select this the interface is fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and the IP address will be 192.168.18.1 right then port status on after that these two routers has to get connected with the serial port I have given the explanation in static routing how to include the serial port in the router click to router go to the config once again I am giving the explanation here also go to physical select wic 1t and the port this serial port you need to place it here but you need to first off this okay power off and then place the module and on close it similarly you carry out for router one go to fast um, go to physical then select wic 1t power off place this port so once you place this module power on close now you have the serial ports so so now you can connect these two routers for that it is the serial dt we have to connect to serial port now give the ip addresses for this interface we'll give uh, fast uh, ether no we need to give the IP addresses for this serial interfaces. Go to config, select serial 0 slash 0. So we'll give 10.0.0.1. Subnet mask will appear. Port status on. And here, once again, go to this WI serial port serial 0 slash 0. 10.0.0.2. Subnet mask switch on. Okay, right you can write the label also if you want and 10.0.0.1 for this serial interface and uh, we can write here 10.0.0.2 for this serial port okay i'm just placing so i'm placing the labels also for both this these are the serial ports now uh, check all the interfaces are up or not see look here this interface is still red so let us see what is the problem yes the IP address has to get assigned to this interface fast Ethernet 192 dot 168 dot 16 dot 1 subnet mask will appear make the port status on and even this one let us check first ethernet 0 slash 0 actually we had designed the ip address now it is not appearing let us reassign it no problem 192.168.18.1 subnet mask port status on so now all the interfaces are up and uh, this is the default routing so for default routing Default routing is possible only where a router has got one exit path. That means now whatever packets come from this interface, it has to forward from this path only. So by default, this is the next hop address for this router. Okay. For that reason, what we have to do is we don't have to worry about the destination network address. We can give 0.0.0.0, .0 and the subnet mask as 0.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. When we tried doing for the static routing, we in particular whatever is the destination address that was given here for this router and for router 1 the destination address is 
192.168.16.0 whereas for router 0 the destination address is 192.168.18.0 so you can always write in the levels also the destination address for the second network it is 192.168.18.0 and for the first network it is 192.168.16.0 okay so here i have placed this network one network two address so how to give the default route to the routers for each of the routers you need to give and the procedure is quite simple you need to click to the router and type the default route here and default route the command is ip root only now let me demonstrate click to router zero go to cli fine you should be in the config mode type the command ip root so destination network whatever is the network don't bother just give 0.0.0.0, .0 followed by the subnet mask 0.0.0, .0 and the next hop address the next hop address is which one for this router it is 10.0.0.2 okay press enter and come out so this one you have configured for router 0 the default route similarly configure the default route for router 1 click to router 1 and click to cli mode you should be in the global configuration mode type the command ip root and followed by what the destination network address here it is 0.0.0, .0 followed by the subnet mask and followed by the next hop address 10. 0.0.1 this completes the configuration so this is all about the complete configuration of routers and the different devices now let us verify by checking the reachability of one pc of one network with a pc of another network so i'll do one thing i'll click to pc0 go to the command prompt of pc0 and ping p any one of the pcs of network 2 yes we have received the reply communication is successful right now try to do from pc3 to any one of the pcs of network one i'll select pc1 of network one so i'll click to pc3 go to command prompt and ping pc1 yes we are receiving the reply the communication is successful so this way you can test the reachability node reachability using the ping command and this is all about the default routing hope you find this session useful if you find it useful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye and take care